Okay, today we're going to learn how to make a GUI, like the one on Diablo 3. Um, I've already done the images. So there's the health bar, there's the gargoyle, and there's the glass. They're all 150 by 150. Now, if we pop over to Roblox Studio, there's two fires one hurts you and one hits you. That's just for testing um, the health bar. If you come over to the starter GUI, and we'll add a screen GUI, and in that screen GUI, we'll add a frame. We'll name that frame corner. Um, we change the size to 0 0.136, offset 0, uh, scale 0 0.214, and offset 0. Now that will make the image 150 by 150 because that's what our images are. Just drag it down here. Um, we'll, inside that frame, we'll create a another frame inside that, but this time we'll call it uh, container. Uh, we'll change the size to one zero one zero and make sure clipping is on. And also change the transparency to one. You can also do that to hold up. Inside the container we'll add an image label. We'll call this image label HP. Uh, the size uh, 1 by 0, 1 by 0. The position uh, 1 by 0, 1 by 0. And change the anchor to 1 by 1. This means that it will change its, um, change its position from this corner, not this corner. Now click HP, type on constraint, change it from XY to XX, and we can change the transparency to 1. And now if we scroll down to add an image, if nothing pops up, it's because you haven't published, so just go home, click game settings and publish. Click it, you can add the image, boom. There, you can technically test if it's working by clicking container and dragging slug down. It looks like it's eating it, then it's working. Um, if you click hold up and add a text label, and we'll just name this the text 0%, so it displays 0%. Um, the name of the object, we'll just call it percentage. And there's, I think it's tick scale. Make sure that's ticked. Uh, tick scale. And make, also make sure transparent is zero too. And you can pull that above it. Now over here, um, we'll just copy and paste, paste it and then drag that into the holder and we'll rename this to HP underscore glass and we can copy that HP glass one again. Oops. Make sure it's in holder. And we'll name this one Gar for Gargo. Um, in the HP, all you do is change the image to the glass, and the Gargo one will change to the Gargo. So oh, you can't see it. Um, over here, I got a HP glass, oh, wrong one, HP glass, and the Gargo. So. The HP glass should be the right size because it's one by one. The image will scale 
up a bit. Just to put it over, it's just a lock, so it doesn't have to be perfect. If you click the holder thing and then drag the whole, I mean shift click the whole thing, it drags all of it, so we can just drag it across so that it lines up with the bottom. Um, maybe make the gargoyle a bit smaller. Just so you can see more health. Uh, I'm just going to lower percentage. Uh, now if you click on the screen GUI and add a local script. I'm just going to copy and paste this whole entire script because there's no point of me um, typing for like 10 minutes. Um, you, you should know basic scripting if you know this. Um, I'll just zoom in a little bit. Uh, it grabs the player, make sure it's humanoid. Uh, this grabs the parent of the script. So that's where this is. So it grabs screen GUI, then it if you named all of them the same as me, then it will go to the GUI holder container. So that's the thing that makes the health look like it's gone down because it's being clipped. Uh, that grabs the text of the, the thing we call percentage. This just makes it the variable of formula to, to a number because I've made it zero. And this happens every time your health changes on the player. So it changes the percentage to maths round, current health, and this just divides it, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty basic math. And this is the twin size position. It's um, scale, offset, then a formula up here. The variable. Uh, offset of the Y, then this is its position, so you don't want it to move, but you want it to move from the top downward. Uh, this is just the animation of the tween, so it's going outwards, so it's going that direction, and the style is just linear because I want the basic at the speed of 0 0.5 and it comes back true. Uh, this, and then it just ends, and then this fires when change health happens of the player. And let's, let's see if we can scroll out. That's should be able to see. Oh, and now we can test it. Okay, I see a little bug. Just have to click container and scale container a little bit up, it's just a bit too, it's just clipping the hell, um, the HP image, I'm still doing, did I do the right, oh, I'm doing the wrong one, that's why, you may increase the holder, uh, where is the play, now, when I hit the fly, goes down all the way and if I hit the green my health goes up and if you die <coughs> the file stays emptied until you respawn Thank you.